Yes, it is me. Marky Vender here again today. Now listen, people. The guy in the elections, <laughs> March the 2nd, and they're still counting. Oh, last, oh, last, oh, last. What are you going to say in there? It's real embarrassing. But let me hope that with this recount, which is still being supervised by the CARICOM Commission, a three person, and I gotta say those three persons deserve a lot of praise for sticking to that task. Let us hope that at the end of this exercise, which hopefully will come sometime June, June can't be too soon, normally it's a June too soon, but uh-uh, June ain't too soon for this one. Oh, alas, it is a crying shame. It's a good thing you had to count the, the United States elections, ain't it, Nick? But I suppose when you don't like the result that you get, you might want to recount and recount and recount. No, I am hearing some of the agents of the government, not the president himself, and certainly not the president or the prime minister, but I'm hearing agents of the government saying things like, according to what is being reported out of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana, I am hearing things like, well, this election result really will not be acceptable because at the end of the day, there are too many mistakes. There are too many things that have gone wrong and the credibility of it, it may not be able to stand up and we may have to have a whole set of new elections. Really? <laughs> now, first and foremost, the president of the country, the political leaders of the country, all agreed to this recount under certain conditionalities. Never mind that the OAS representative is saying that they have not been given the documents nor the statements of all that they were promised with the recount. We can leave that alone for the time being. The Honorable former Prime Minister of Jamaica is a man that is respected across the length and breadth, not just in the Caribbean, but of the world. And when he speaks, I have to listen. No, I only want to ask the people who claim they know that the elections might not be valid after all, you know, because of the infelicities that might have gone on. Who controlled the, electorate, the electoral machinery? Huh? Not the government in power? Oh dear, y'all lost a vote of confidence back in December of 2018. Well, it just out as two years. Uh, normally you would resign immediately and call elections, but apparently not so in Guyana. This must be a South American thing. Got the result in Suriname, take a little while too as well. Although I would have to say that it appears... That the president, Mr. Daisy Bautista, is about to accept it. Similarly, next door in Venezuela, they always seem to have problems with elections. And the government there don't seem to be able to accept the will of the people either. But you see me, market vendor, you control the electoral machinery. Huh? You said that the voters list needed to be updated. You took a year and three months to be able to do that. And now you want to come back and tell market and everybody else, well, you know, it might not be valid after all. You really expect me to buy that? Well, you was in charge of it. It is your people that you appointed, the chairperson, the head of the organization. You got the majority of the members. Don't let me bring red herrings. Look, let me tell you something. I waited with bated breath because I have a feeling that I know how this is going to go down. And let me tell you something, if we're going to make the wrong move, we're going to pay a heavy price for it. You see me, market vendor, let democracy prevail. You may not always like the will of the people, but they say that the will of the people must be respected. The voice of the people is the voice of God. That might be a little sacrilegious or bordering upon it, but you know where market coming from. I gone for now. You have a blessed and a wonderful day. Yeah? <laughs>